What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got two very, very important pieces of information that we need to get to, very important updates. We got one update regarding businesses and lobbyists that are trying to get what businesses want into the next infrastructure bill. And I'm gonna address that in a minute, but just here's a little spoiler. They are actually, uh, they're actually supporting additional stimulus checks and I'll explain why in a minute. We also have a, one specific senator that is actually opposing the entire $3.5 trillion bill at this time. And I want to address that because that's extremely important as well, especially moving forward. Now, got some good news. Earlier today, I mentioned that if you go and you want to uh, deposit $100 with an app called Webull, Webull will give you two free stocks valued up to, I believe, $1,800. Well, today somebody actually did it. I got an email right after they deposited their money and they actually got one stock of Facebook. Of Facebook. I think Facebook is like 200 and some dollars. So they deposit $100 and yes, they got a Facebook stock. That is great news. So I'm gonna put that link down in the description box below as well. If you guys wanna join and get, a, you know, get an account with Webull, it's absolutely free. But if you wanna get the free stock, you got to deposit or two free stocks. You got to deposit $100. So that's all you got to do. The link will be down in the description box below if you want to go and check it out. But let's get into the update because this is extremely important. This is very important. Business lobbyists, they're pushing to try to get rid of the corporate tax rate increase that the Biden administration is trying to impose. President Biden is actually trying to push it where certain people are going to pay essentially about 43, 44%. That is huge. But they, these business lobbyists are trying to push back and they want moderates and, uh, and Republicans to oppose this, oppose these changes because they say it's actually gonna do no good. It's actually gonna hurt the economy more than it's gonna help it. If businesses are actually required to pay 28%, chances are they would just go somewhere else. They'd go to a different country. they just find loopholes to get out of paying this 28% anyway, and it's gonna hurt the American people. But I wanna explain why what businesses are doing at this time is actually a good thing for certain people. Businesses understand that raising taxes is essentially just going to put that burden onto you and I. Even though the, the tax rate may increase for the business, the business still has to make their money. They still do not want to see their, them, their profits going backwards. So what are they going to do? They're just going to push that, that increase onto us, the consumer. And that's not what we want to see. Yes, you and I will be paying more if we see this increase. But that's not the way the Biden administration sees it. Right now, here's where things get very interesting. Business leaders say that Congress should worry more about the American people. They need to provide those in need with additional help. They need to give assistance where it is needed the most. And with that, they are pushing for an additional stimulus check. Yes, they're pushing for an additional stimulus check. Now again, business uh, leaders, okay, lobbyists, they are not the ones that technically write the bill, but they are very influential. And so this is why I wanna bring this to your attention. Business leaders, they say that the first three stimulus checks helped out the American people immensely. And so a fourth stimulus check is needed right now. Well, let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest with this. These checks were great for businesses. They helped increase the, the revenue from the business every single time. They put money into the American people's pockets. And every time a check came out, Walmart, Walmart was screaming, they were excited because they saw massive crowds and they saw record earnings. We saw this every single time and it would happen again if we, if we see a fourth stimulus check. Well, businesses understand that and they understand that in order for them to be successful, the American people, the consumers, they have to have money to spend and that is why they're demanding and pushing for more assistance. That's why they wanna see the unemployment benefits get extended. They wanna see that. They don't want people evicted from their homes. They don't want to see the, the money, the 40 some billion dollars in rental assistance aid sitting there while the, the consumers are taking their money from savings, putting it into their rent, and then hoping they get that money back. That's not gonna happen. That's not the way it's working. So 
These business lobbyists are saying, we need to get this funding out quickly. Let's get it out to the American people. Well, even though it's looking great for the American people and they're like, yeah, let's go. Get these business lobbyists on our side. They're on our side because they understand the more money the American people have that you and I have, the more money we can spend at their stores. Simple. And so that's what we're seeing. But again, you know, could we see lobbyists get what they're asking for? Yes, we could. But only time will tell. I don't know if they're going to get everything. I just don't know. You know, do I think they're going to get something? Yes. They will obviously get something or else Joe Manchin, Kirsten Cinema, and moderates in the House are not going to vote in support of a $3.5 trillion bill. But according to Senator Bernie Sanders, he says he is going to raise taxes. He says that for far too long, businesses have been getting away with lower taxes than the American people. And he says now the time, now is the time that this is going to stop. But here's perhaps the biggest news out today. And this has to do with one senator, Senator Joe Manchin. You may have heard this already, but let me break down why this is so important at this time. Now, before I say what is going, going on right now, okay? I first just want to say, I don't like bringing you bad news. However, I would rather bring you bad news that, it was, that was factually correct than bring you false information that was good. I don't want to give you false hope and false information. I'm just trying to provide you with the updates that we are getting right now. And again, you don't have to watch this channel. You do not have to watch my channel. And if you do, you like it and you can support it, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button but you don't have to support my channel. There's so many other channels out there that some do give you false hope, false information, but they also aren't providing you the facts. So that's just what I'm trying to do, provide you the facts with what we are seeing right now. So let's get into the update. Today, Senator Joe Manchin said that Congress should hit a strategic pause on the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill. And he said, and I quote, this is an exact quote from Senator Joe Manchin. He said, Instead of rushing to spend trillions on new government programs and additional stimulus funding, Congress should hit a strategic pause on the budget reconciliation legislation. A pause is warranted because it will provide more clarity on the trajectory of the pandemic and it will allow us to determine whether inflation is transitory or not. But let's address this for a minute because this is extremely important. What he's saying is not false. What he's saying is, is not untrue. This is what Congress wants to see. They want to know, is inflation transitory or not? Here's why this pause, uh, or why he is saying we need to see a pause to help clarify whether the trajectory of this pandemic is transitory or not. Right now, we're seeing inflation run rampant. It's going higher and higher. Some worry that this is not just a temporary thing, that the economy, as the economy transitions out of this pandemic, honestly, many worry that inflation is going to be here to start or here to stay. We've already seen it. You go to the grocery store, everything's more expensive. I went to uh, Jack in the Box today. My son wanted to get the little mini pancakes for breakfast. So we went to go get him the little mini pancakes. Well, they were the same price, but everything else is more expensive. Everything's more expensive. You go to the gas station, gas is more expensive. And some are saying it's only going to get even more expensive coming up because you got to remember a lot of gas, okay, it does come uh, you know, from the Gulf Coast, a lot of oil. Well, what does that mean when we just had a hurricane? We could see delays. And some are saying in about two to three weeks, we're going to see gas prices increase by about 10 to 15 cents per gallon. So if you haven't received or put gas in your car yet, you might want to do that pretty soon. But let's address this, okay? Let's address this. And let's, again, if inflation is here to stay, here's what some people are asking. Would spending trillions of dollars on free education, healthcare, paid leave, affordable housing, climate action, and so much more, would it make sense to do this at this time? Well, Here's what chairwoman of the U.S. Progressive Caucus, Pramila Jayapal, she had to say today. She said, and I quote, pause on finally delivering childcare, paid leave, education, healthcare, affordable housing, climate action, and dental and vision and hearing to millions of families across America? Absolutely not. Now this was a quote from her. 
However, I tried to put in the, you know, put in a little more emphasis on those words because that's probably how she was reading it and typing it. Senator Joe Manchin says that right now everything has changed and he says that this is not anything we need immediately. Let, let that sink in. He says this is not anything we need immediately. But let's unpack that for a second because one expert had this to say. We don't need immediate action on the 7.5 million people that are going to lose their unemployment benefits in the matter of days. We don't need an immediate response to those running for their lives from wildfires and hurricanes. And we don't need clear direction on the crisis at the US-Mexico border, which just yesterday, mind you, we heard that the Biden administration has lost track of tens of thousands of children that they, left, they let into the country at the hands of their relatives, of loved ones, people that were gonna take care of them, guardians. So right now, according to one senior Democratic member who did not wanna be named, this is from uh, CNN uh, News Today, he says he is very perplexed at Senator Manchin for taking such a vocal stand at this critical time. The member also went on to say, and I quote, this complicates everything. This isn't good. This is not great news. This is the bad news. The news on businesses and the lobbyists pushing to get the tax rate changed and actually in support of additional stimulus checks to the American people, that was the good news. This is bad. This isn't great. This could be troubling. And according to this uh, person says, uh, and a day when President Biden is seeing the lowest approval rate thus far, some are saying that this could be what puts the nail in the coffin for Democrats moving forward. I've been saying this for a little while. If Democrats want to guarantee that they are winning their seats in the upcoming midterm election in 2022, they have to provide more stimulus to the American people. They have to provide and extend unemployment benefits to at least a handful of people, okay? Maybe not 7.5 million people, but at least extend it. Maybe not the $300 per week boost, but at least extend long-term unemployment, pandemic unemployment assistance, because those are the ones that are really gonna struggle. The $300 per week boost is going to hurt, but it's not going to just take away 100% of the income of that individual. And again, this is what experts are saying. They're saying we need to do this. If anything, at least extend it. We may not extend the $300 per week boost, but at least extend the other unemployment benefits. Some are saying that right now, Democrats are gonna have a hard time getting back to where they once were. They, they, were, at a, they were at a high. They were doing great. We passed legislation, $1.2 trillion bill, that's coming. Well, everything's pretty much put on hold right now. Remember, nobody's there. Congress is not there. The House of Representatives isn't coming back. The Senate is not coming back for another week and a half. The House, about two and a half weeks. So again, things are coming up. And just a short while ago, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, she had this to say about Senator Joe Manchin. Manchin has weekly huddles with Exxon and is, on, and is one of many senators who gives lobbyists their pen to write so-called bipartisan fossil fuel bills. It's killing people, our people. At least 12 last night, sick of the bipartisan corruption that masquerades as clear-eyed moderation. And she is pretty much pointing out Senator Joe Manchin and him halting this $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill when she herself is trying to increase it. And just with the, the water damage, okay, the flooding that happened last night in New York and New Jersey, she's pretty upset. She's fired up. So it's gonna be a fight. But as we see what happens in this fight, I promise I will bring you all the news and updates. Again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.